Ruhi says, can men and women go to the gym where music is played and what is the dress code a woman must observe while gymming in front of other women? So this question is divided into two, two questions. The first one is, what is the ruling in going to a gym that has music? We know that listening to music is prohibited in Islam. And this is backed by the Quran, backed by the authentic hadith, which is in Bukhari and elsewhere, which is totally authentic, and backed by the consensus of the four schools of thought that music is prohibited in Islam. Whether it is Mozart, Beethoven, or R&B, jazz, rock, heavy metal, blues, all are the same. Any musical instrument is prohibited in Islam. Not that Islam does not like arts, but Islam prevents whatever corrupts the heart. How can music corrupt the heart? Well, it influences you negatively. Some say positively. It influences you at the end of the day. It changes and transforms you to a different person. If you go and look at those who do, do aerobics, you would feel the energy in them when they're listening to music. But once you turn it off, 40% of their energy is gone. Where did this energy come from in the first place? Why is it that a person listening to soft music drives slowly? A sentimental song drives slowly in a highway while when driving within city range, inside residential areas, he drives like a maniac when listening, listening to a fast-paced music type because it changes a person. And the vast majority of songs nowadays, they ask you to do heinous and haram things like love making, like talking about body parts of women, like violence and killing, etc. So even if all of this was not there, it is sufficient for us as Muslims to know that music is haram in Islam. This is what the Quran, the Sunnah and the scholars say. So we, we don't have to argue a lot because we have to submit to Allah the Almighty and to the instruction of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So going to a place where there is music and listening to it is prohibited. And you have to always weigh the pros and cons. Is it a necessity to go to the gym? If I don't, will I die? Or is it something that is complementary? something that has an added value, which I can do elsewhere. Of course, you can do elsewhere. You can choose a place that does not have music in it. You can you work out in your own room or in your own house or in a garden, you know, whatever. But hypothetically, let's assume that you have to go. Then listening to music is haram. Instruct them to turn it off. Most likely they won't, but you give it a try. If not, then you have to put these headsets that isolate the outside noise totally. And you can listen to Quran, you can listen to a lecture, you can listen to the news, anything that is halal, but to keep you out of being engaged in listening to music. This is uh, as far as part one goes.